Hey guys, this is Jonas from the Siamese Cubers, and today I will be concluding the series on how to solve the Rubik's Cube using the beginner's method, and this is part three. So, you guys have probably already watched my first um, video, and it's that's how to solve the first layer, and then my second video on how to solve the second layer. And um, now, we're on to the last one, so if you guys have gotten this far, you guys can get the top layer. So, what you want to do is first thing you want to do on the top layer is get the cross and to get the cross you just have to use this trigger so like just hold it to where it's like this just do F R U R prime U prime F prime and once you've done that you'll probably either get a bar or the cross will be solved if it's if it's a bar hold it to where it's in a line like this horizontal line and then you just want to do that again F R U R prime U prime F prime just like that okay but if um you start like um let's say you start like uh just with a line you would just do that like that and solve it and if you start with a dot you just do it twice so now that you've done that that's the first algorithm you have to do F R U R prime U prime the next step is you want to do is you want to orient the um, cross. Um, so to do this, what you want to do is you want to uh, find, look at the cross, and if it's already oriented, that's good. But if it's not, you want to find two that are. So like the red, see how that's oriented, and the blue, that's oriented. So what you want to do, if those two are oriented, get those in the back and in the right layer so right and back layer like that and once you have it in the right and the back you do this algorithm r u r prime u r u2 r prime u and right there that solves or not solves but orients the cross see it's oriented so now that you've solved and orient the cross what you want to do is you want to orient the corners and then solve them. But this is the algorithm on how to um, orient the corners. So to orient the corners you want to find a corner that is in the right position. So like we can see that this right here it's um, a red, a yellow, and a blue corner piece and it's in the right place but that's not, that's not, and that's not. So the one that is in the right place put it right here to where it's facing you and it's on the right side like that and then you want to do this algorithm u r u prime l prime u r prime u prime l and once you do that it just switches all the corners around but not that one and if it doesn't solve it do that algorithm again so you would do u r u prime l prime u r prime u prime l and now we can see that all of the corners on the last layer are in the right position. And now the last thing that you want to do is um, solve these. And once you've solved these, you've completed the Rubik's Cube. So what you want to do is just, doesn't matter where you start, and you want to just do this algorithm over again with the yellow on top. You want to do R prime, D prime, R, D, R prime, D prime, R, D, and once you've done that, and it gets that corner into place, just do a U. And if that corner's not solved there, do that same thing again. So R prime, D prime, R, D, R prime, D prime, R, D. And then you want to do a U again. And if that corner's not solved, like it's not right now, you want to do that same trigger again. So R prime, D prime, R, D, R prime, D prime. R, D, R prime, D prime, R, D, R prime, D prime, R, D. And now that that corner's in place, you want to do U again, and this is the last one. So you want to do that trigger once again, R prime, D prime, R, D, R prime, D prime, R, D, R prime, D prime, R, D, R prime, D prime, R, D. And once you've done that, the cube will be like this. And since you've gotten this far, you'll have enough common sense to just turn it once, and then the entire cube will be completed. So if you've watched this 
if you've watched this video and our previous videos and it's helped you to solve the Rubik's Cube, like us, subscribe, and um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.